Hello, welcome to second uh, type of election algorithm that is bully algorithm. So in the last session we had discussed about what is election algorithm and one specific implementation of uh, this election algorithm that was uh, ring based algorithm. And the major assumption we took there in uh, ring based algorithm is that there is no failure in the system. But in a real scenario that is not the case definitely there can be some failure or crashes. So the bully algorithm allows the process to crash. So we can say that this bully algorithm is a little more realistic compared to a ring based algorithm. And also another assumption or another difference with the ring based algorithm is that the bully algorithm assumes the system to be synchronous and it uses timeouts to detect failures. And another major difference uh, compared to ring based algorithm is that in a ring based algorithm it assumes that the processes have minimal a priori knowledge about another right. Each knows only how to communicate with its immediate neighbor and none knows identifiers of other processes. Whereas in case of bully algorithm it assumes that each process knows which processes have higher identifiers and that it can communicate with all such processes. So these are the assumptions and uh, characteristics of bully algorithm. First it allows the process to crash during an election and it assumes that always the communication or transmission is reliable that is if a process sends a message it will be delivered at the receiver unless otherwise the receiver is crashed. So no other failure occurs in a system. And also system is always synchronous that is there is a strict time bound for any type of activity in the system. Since the system is synchronous, uh, we can easily detect whether a process is crashed or not using a reliable failure detector. See, we have a sender process here and a receiver process here. And uh, when the sender process sends a message to this receiver, say we have a maximum message transmission delay, delay trans to, uh, to reach the destination. And uh, another uh, time period delay processing to process the corresponding message at the receiver and so definitely after this much time another uh, delay runs to send back the message reach back the message from the receiver to sender so totally a delay of uh, two delay runs plus one delay processing this much can be set as a time bound upper bound of the time that can elapse between sending a message to another process and receiving a response so if no response arrives within this time period t, definitely the local failure detector can report that the intended recipient of the request has failed. Now let us see how this algorithm works. So before that we have three different types of messages in Bully algorithm. First one is election message which is sent to announce an election. And second answer message which is sent in response to an election message and then the third one is a coordinated message which is sent to announce the identity of the elected process that is a new coordinator any process can begin an election when it notices through timeouts that the coordinator has failed and uh, several processes may discover this concurrently now we can move to the algorithm so any process whose local failure detected find out that the coordinator has failed can initiate an election algorithm. So different scenarios are there. Let us see one by one. Suppose that this process knows that it has the highest identifier. In that case it can just elect itself as the coordinator simply by sending a coordinated message to all processes with lower identifiers. On the other hand, if this process is with a lower identifier, it can begin an election by sending an election message to those processes that have higher identifiers and awaiting answer message in response. So we can see this uh, in different steps. So as an initial step, it will set uh, elected a variable as nil. Then it starts an election process by sending a message, election message with its own identifier to all processes with higher identifiers that is pj greater than pi and then it will wait until it receives an ok message from all the recipients and suppose that uh, there is none arrived during the upper bound time t it can uh, 
announce itself as the new coordinator. It will do this by setting elected I variable to its own identifier and then send a message, the coordinator message with its own identifiers to all processes with lower identifiers. It announces its uh, coordinatorship. And suppose it receives some messages from some higher, higher processes that, uh, that means there is some other candidates eligible for coordinatorship. In such case, it wait until receipt of the message, a coordinated message from other higher processes. And if it doesn't arrive any uh, such coordinated message during another timeout period T dash, it again begins another election. This is how it proceeds. Now when a process PI receive a message, a coordinated message from a process PG, it will just set its elected I variable to PG. That's action to be taken. Like that, when a process PI receives an election message from PG, what it will do is, it will first send the message OK with its own identifier to this process PG and then it will start an election unless it has begun one already. These are the two different actions to be taken when a process receives an election message. And uh, when a process uh, is started to replace a crash process, in that case is special, that is uh, a process is crashed and a new process started replacing this crashed one, it also begins an election. And if it has the highest process identifier, then it will decide that it is a coordinator and uh, announce this to other processes. That is, uh, it will become the coordinator even though the current coordinator is functioning. That is why this uh, algorithm is called bully algorithm. A bit intimidating nature, right? So this is how the bully algorithm work. Now we can see an example for this bully algorithm. So four processes are the P1, P2, P3 and P4. And uh, P1 finds out that uh, P4 has crashed. So it begins an election. This is the first stage. What it will do is it will send a election message to higher order processes here P2 and P3. Send an election message to P2 and P3. And upon receiving this election message, both P2 and P3 responds with an answer message. After sending this answer message, both P2 and P3 will begin its own election, right? That is stage 2. So P2 will send an election message to P3 and also to P4, whereas P3 will send an election message to P4. And upon receiving an election message from P2, P3 will send back an answer message. But P3 won't receive any answer message from P4 because it's already crashed, right? So P3 can decide that it is a new coordinator. Now suppose that before it can send out the coordinator message, it too fails. In stage 3, we can see that P3 also fails. So what happens here? After some time, P1 will time out, right? It will deduce the absence of a coordinator message and begins another election, right? So eventually what happens is P2 will be announced as a coordinator because P1 receives an election message from P2. So it uh, accepts P2 as the coordinator. So this is how it proceeds. If we analyze the performance of this uh, bully algorithm, in the best case, the process with the second highest identifier notices the coordinator's failure. In that case, it can immediately elect itself as the new coordinator and just send n minus two coordinated messages. That's enough. Whereas uh, the worst case performance is when the process with the lowest identifier first detects the coordinator's failure. In this case, those n minus one processes altogether begin selection, right? So each sending message to process with the higher identifier, so for order of n square messages will be required. So this is the number of messages required in case of pulley algorithm n minus two to order of n square. The system should be always single as then only we can detect the failure of a coordinator. So this is all about this pulley algorithm. Thank you.